How are you doing, lads and girls? Subscribe, give us a like, and write in the comments below what games you plan to watch today. And while you're typing, we proceed to begin. Let's get this show on the pitch. Barcelona have completed the transfer of Andres Christensen. As for Aspilicueta, his issue is soon to be decided at the season's finish. He already has an agreement with Barca. Chelsea's bank account is temporarily blocked due to sanctions against Abramovich. The PSG leadership, represented by Nasser al Halafi, is dissatisfied with the work of the club's sporting director, Leonardo. The Red and Blues are looking for a replacement for the Brazilian. Luis Suarez could move to Aston Villa next summer. Steven Gerrard wants to see his former teammate in the squad. The Uruguayan's deal with Atletico expires this summer. Liverpool intend to bust their attacking line for next season. Lille forward Jonathan David is among options to consider. Erling Haaland returned to training with the first team. The star striker can return to the pitch this weekend. Yesterday, PSG sporting director Leonardo had a talk with his performers. He said that they deserve to win the Champions League and should not give up at all. Barcelona made an offer to Marzawi, which includes 5 million a year of wage. Bayern Munich are also looking forward to having Ajax right back. Mauricio Pochettino will only agree to take Manchester United job if he feels he is a priority for the club. PSG and Real Madrid are in negotiations with Antonio Rudiger. However, the footballer is considering options in the Premier League too. Atletico Madrid are monitoring the situation around Sergio Roberto. Los Colchoneros can attempt to sign him in the summer. Nike are considering walking away from their kid deal with Chelsea. Earlier on, they signed a 15-year contract for 900 million euros in 2016. Barcelona are unbidden in non-fixtures, having six wins and three draws. The last defeat took place on January 20th. Robert Lewandowski is the most effective player of the current season. He has 46 points on goal contribution system with 42 goals and 4 assists. Atletico Madrid are going to extend Antoine Griezmann's loan for another season and pay 40 million euros to Barcelona at the start of the 2022-23 campaign. Felipe Coutinho received 7 goal contribution points in 8 Premier League appearances for Aston Villa with 4 goals and 3 assists. Since Ronaldo's departure from Real Madrid, Karim Benzema has scored more goals than Cristiano himself. Karim has 117 of them, while Ronaldo succeeded in 116. Cristiano Ronaldo could appear on the pitch in the tie against Tottenham. The matter was stated by Ralf Rangnick. Real Madrid are set to propose Benzema a new agreement until the summer of 2024. Russian Federation troops fired at the soccer stadium of the SNAP from Chernihiv. Juventus have withdrawn their interest in Chelsea representatives due to sanctions. Juventus have renewed interest in PSG goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma. The old lady attempted to get the Italian last summer. As long as we have kits and a bus, Chelsea will be there, Thomas Tuchel claimed. Sergio Dest has managed to convince Xavi of his professional suitability. If Barca can get a new left back, he will be a substitute for Jordi Alba. Liverpool defender Joel Matip has been named Premier League Player of the Month for February. Milan are about to ask UEFA to postpone sanctions for violating the financial playoffs. Newcastle manager Eddie Howe was named Premier League Manager of the Month in February. After four games held, he won three of them and drew once. To know that Russia athletes are banned from competition is very set, noted Antonio Conte. Abramovich ban? Over the years, you could guess maybe he is pretty close to Russia's president, Vladimir Putin. I think what the British government did was right, Jurgen Klopp shared. Mbappe will not play as the right winger at Real Madrid, according to journalist Mario Cortegana. Real Madrid player Thibaut Courtois has been named La Liga Player of the Month for February. The termination of the contract with Gazprom was a blow to the wallet, but it was the right decision, said UEFA president Alexander Ciferin. Barcelona have no intention of renewing Sergio Roberto's contract despite Xavi's support. Atalanta striker Luis Muriel has been named UEFA Europa League Player of the Week. Keylor Novas is furious at Pochettino over the decision to start Donnarumma against Real Madrid. 
Here are the results of yesterday's matches. Moving on to the main news of the release. The Ballon d'Or will be awarded in October. The Ballon d'Or will now be awarded to the best player during the standard European season, instead of the calendar one. The 2021-22 run will end with the Women's Euro 2022, and the 2022 World Cup will be included in the 2022-23 awards. The individual performances of the players will have a priority. Representatives of the top 100 countries in the FIFA rankings will be given the right to vote. By the way, the latest Ballon d'Or 2022 rating has been released. Interestingly enough, there was no place for either Messi or Ronaldo. Let's take a closer look. In 10th place, we have Kevin De Bruyne. Then, Eduard Mendy. 8th position is taken by Sadio Mane, followed by Erling Haaland. 6th is Trent Alexander-Arnold. Vinicius opens the top 5. Ahead of the Brazilian is Mbappe. Mohamed Salah gets to the top 3 spot. Benzema can be found in 2nd place and Lewandowski is 1st. Do you agree with such an arrangement? Neymar may leave Paris next summer. The owner of PSG, the Emir of Qatar, is tired of the Brazilian and believes that he could not bring the team to a new level. The Parisians are open to sell the Brazilian star for 100 million euros in order to bail out at least part of the amount paid to Barcelona in the summer of 2017. Neymar will be sold to the club that is up to making the most generous offer. Moreover, Barcelona is no longer interested in the Brazilians' comeback. The main contender for the sign of Neymar are Manchester United. Liverpool may lose Mohamed Salah. The Egyptian was not satisfied with the proposed terms under the new deal. The Red Winger and his agent won't accept the offer received. Therefore, negotiations have been suspended since December. The Egyptian himself would like to continue performing at Liverpool. Previously, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Juventus, Bayern, PSG and other big teams were eyeing for Salah's services. Kylian Mbappe and his family have a strong desire to move to Real Madrid. The PSG forward felt at home at the Santiago Bernabeu. The Frenchman never doubted his choice, but two days spent in Madrid finally convinced him of a need to move to Real Madrid. Both the footballer and his relatives found out that money is not the main thing in this case, and by moving to Real, Kylian will surely be happy, even if he doesn't become the richest footballer on the planet. Barcelona are confident in the summer transfer of Erling Haaland. The Blaugrana's belief Real and other clubs have no chance to succeed. Xavi solidified Barcelona's position in the race for Erling by meeting the player himself in Munich a few days ago. The coach informed him that the Barca project would revolve around his persona. To crown it all, Barca are set to close two major economic deals, CVC and the sale of 49% of Barca studios to secure funds for Holland. Therefore, departures of Dembele, Coutinho and Griezmann next summer will also help the top deal to gain its rightful attention. In case Holland's transfer to Barcelona falls through and the Norwegian agrees to Manchester City terms, the Catalans have an impressive plan B. Laporte is closely focused on the situation of Lewandowski, whose contract with Bayern expires in the summer of 2023. If the cooperation will not be renewed soon, Barca wish to sign the pole next summer at a reasonable price. Friends, watch the suggested videos from our other projects. It was Football News. Have a nice one and see you in a bit.